what's up guys how's everyone doing today I'm doing okay thank you for asking uh, it's been a few days since I uploaded a video uh, it's also been a few days since I've been on my bicycle or done anything at all for that matter um, about four days ago or so four days ago I threw my back out uh, yeah, I was brushing my hair and I bent over to brush my hair forward so I get in the ponytail and my back went out instantly like that. And a lot of you don't know uh, that watch my videos, but I have chronic back problems. I hurt my back when I was just a child of 25 years old. Uh, the thing that I can go back to and remember at the time is I always went back to I was pulling concrete uh, I did work construction from February of 94 until December of 2008 Work construction buddy of mine and another guy uh, Built everything from homes to big buildings and additions and garages and poured concrete on, enough probably to circle the world and uh, everything in between so uh, yeah I've been suffering from a horrible back for about 21 22 years whatever the math is I'm fixing to be 48 um, so it's it's not been a good adult life as far as that goes for me uh, it's been really difficult over the years uh, I have had plenty of enjoyment. I've been able to do things and from tennis to basketball and throwing a football and running around and riding bicycles and goofing off and doing this and the construction and doing all these different things. But my back is just one little blink away from going out all the time. And it's not that it just is uh, that easy to go out. There's also the daily pain that's actually with it that I have to deal with. Uh, most of you, I'm sure, don't have chronic back problems. You probably have a sore back once in a while. And you work through it within an hour or so, and you're good to go for the next year. Uh, when you have chronic back problems, it's a 24-hour a day, 7-day a week, 365 days a year uh, issue. And it feels... On a daily basis anywhere from like you've been kicked in between the legs to uh, that sharp pain that I'm sure a lot of you have felt where you go Ugh, where you go like that <laughs> you know it's anywhere in between that on a daily basis and uh, and pretty much I can deal with it but it goes once it goes from that issue to uh, feeling this way um, then it's more of a, I'm out of commission and there's even another step beyond this that I've been in a few times as well and that's where you're not able to move or do anything you pretty much have to be uh, helped and carried along to whatever it is you got to do to the chiropractor and uh, you can't I mean you practically pass out from the pain getting in and out of the car uh, so you got a, a few different stages there. You're always in constant pain, but then it goes from that to like, you know, death. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been dealing with for my entire adult life. And I don't wish it on anyone at all. Uh, I do wish people could understand and, uh, and know the pain, but I don't wish it on anyone because a lot of people are like yeah my back hurts man I'm, I'm but they're okay they're good to go it's not a big deal big difference um, and another thing uh, that's associated with this whole back issue is what I do for a living as of late uh, I am a school bus driver I have been doing this for five years now and it's not because I love it, it's because I have to. I have to stay off my feet, and it's a short trip in the morning and a short trip in the afternoon. It's 
so I'm not sitting down a whole lot bouncing around on my bus and all that stuff um, and the, the bad thing is is I don't make a lot of money matter of fact it's embarrassing what I make I'll put it to you this way uh, you made more than me when you were in high school working a part-time job uh, I'll just put it that way it's laughable it's humiliating especially with all the training we have to do to get our license and then all the classes we go to every year and all the different things that we have to do throughout a year or every other year to keep the license from CPR to fingerprints and background checks and our normal classes that we have every year and driving tests every year and all these different things so uh, we bus drivers do a lot of stuff for a little money and uh, anyway so that's what I do for a living and there's people that give me a hard time my wife has given me a hard time because I don't make a lot of money she gets upset sometimes and don't like what I do but and her parents are the same way and they don't like it and they don't agree with it and they think I should be out busting my butt and doing this and that you know and, and I tell people I've told them a hundred times you don't know what it's like to have my back you don't know what it's like to have a chronic bad back uh, it is horrible your back your whole entire back and your hips and in your I'll call it girdle whatever you want to call it, all that down at the lower bottom where your tailbone is and all the way up your neck all that is the center point of your entire body and when that goes it's uh, it's when it's a you know it, it's a problem <laughs> it's not like ah oh, oh man I, I got a little little twitch in my shoulder there okay speaking of I have a horrible right shoulder as well um, but I'm tired of you know having to explain myself to people and I think it's I think it's actually rude and disrespectful towards me and my problems and to other people's problems they have the same issue uh, for people to question and doubt people with uh, chronic back problems it's actually uh, very rude and I would like to slap the taste out of their mouth is what I'd like to do so sorry to those that uh, are in my family that hear this but if you're in that category yeah I'm not happy it don't it don't make me happy uh, so anyway uh, that's where I'm at no bicycle riding this week um, I did go to the chiropractor finally yesterday after 72 hours it was actually about 74 hours that I was trying to just fight it and see if it'll work itself out it you know on its own but it didn't so I finally went to the chiropractor he cracked me real good a couple times uh, I also have neck problems I'm really stiff in this area and I get terrible pinches or creaks or whatever you want to call it uh, to the point of where it's nearly yeah, it puts you on the ground uh, whenever I was in construction uh, we were actually building a house and I was into the crawl space of the house and we had one of the floorboards out of the house a four by eight sheet where we could come in and out and do stuff and and it was quicker than having to go outside the house and all that so uh, one day I I was under the house and I came up and I was on my knees I came up out of the floor and my boss was doing some drywalling and drywalling uh, drywalling yeah anyway doing some drywall stuff and uh, he was standing on a stack of drywall four foot tall twelve foot long half inch thick and there was twelve sheets of them against the wall all 12 of those sheets fell over on my head uh, yeah needless to say I was in pain uh, there was actually a dent in the piece of drywall that we put up in his uh, in their uh, master bathroom that we would go and look at and kind of laugh at and uh, so I assume that that has a little bit to do with my neck problems I wouldn't doubt that it might have even hurt my back further from you know what it even was um, that's a lot of weight to fall over on your head I had a concussion pull muscles whiplash along with whatever host of other things that they said was wrong with me I was nauseated feeling um, I was out of work for like a week I had a I had a uh, 
headache for a solid week. I mean, I was just bad feeling. I mean, uh, I kept working for a little while. Actually, when it happened, uh, I kept working a little while, but I was so much in pain and just dead. Like, imagine getting hit by a truck. That's pretty much what it felt like. So, anyway, I assume that that probably has something to do with my neck problem on this side and it's pinch it pinches and it stiffs up and I can't turn it's just a whole host of little problems like that to go along with my back uh, so anyway I wanted to do kind of a update video and kind of give you a little um, history on me my back and uh, and for any of you out there who suffer from uh, chronic back problems I feel so sorry for you, and I literally, if I had any tears left, uh, I, I would cry for you, because it pains me. I know what it's like, and nobody knows what it's like until they have it. It's a horrible, horrible situation. Um, as of right now, I feel a little looser, my body's a little better, but uh, it's still, uh, I'm at that critical point where you still move a certain way, and it's, it gives you that jolt that, <laughs> You know, I hate doing that right in the camera, but that's what it's like whenever you, whenever it hits that nerve or whatever. Um, and actually, whenever I, whenever it happened, I literally felt the bones go move. I felt the, I swear I felt my backbone just go like that. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I've ever felt that, <laughs> but I, I felt that that time. I just have, I have a really weak back. And from all these years, uh, it's just, you know, it's not getting any better. And so, yeah, I deal with that and I deal with criticism of what I do for a living. And you know what? I could have probably got disability 20 years ago. Who knows? I never pursued it. Um, I didn't want to. Of course, at the time, I'm young. I'm only in my 20s. So for a 20-year-old to be having to go through that, and I ju we just had kids... We had, uh, our one kid was born in May of 94, and the other kid was born in uh, September of 96, and we just moved in our new house that we built uh, in September of 96, so we had new kids, we were only married for like three years at the time, and then it was right at that point, uh, sometime in 96, or it was extremely early in 97. And that's when it happened. You can do the math. I'm fixing to be 48. So I don't know what that is. I've always said it's basically as old as my youngest kid. He's 22. So I've been suffering this for a long time. And this is a long video and I apologize. But it's stuff that needs to be said and documented. And anyway, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, if I get to feeling better tomorrow, today is Friday. If I get to feeling better tomorrow, I might try to do a ride. Uh, sometimes being active can help uh, get the blood flowing and get things kind of worked out if you don't do anything stupid, um, which I try never to do. So uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get to go for a, a little ride, my normal little Old Faithful ride that I call it. I'm in one of the spots that I ride through at the park. So uh, anyway, guys. I'm going to sign off. i got to go grab us something to eat. We're all hungry. Need a burger and some fries. Health food, baby. Guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. Keeping up with me. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. All that stuff. I do all this for free. No monetization. No ads. Uh, I do it because I enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you have a good weekend. Be safe. Have some pity on those that have chronic illnesses and problems. Have some pity. <laughs> so guys, get up, get out, get rad. Do it to it. Even if you can't do anything at all. Which is my case right now. We'll see y'all later.